there's no other way around it. If success is the result that you are ultimately seeking, you must be obsessed with the process. You have no time to let fear, doubt, failure, quit, negative thoughts, or give up enter into your mental. See, you have massive potential. So from the moment you open your eyes in the morning, your mindset has to be win. Meaning winning that particular morning and carrying that winner's mentality with you as you enter your classroom. So what the person to the left of you is pessimistic? So what the person to the right of you is zoned out? You, yes you, can only be concerned with staying locked in because you refuse to let the aura of your classmates or classroom enter into your mental space. See, this race is won by the one that can distance him or herself from the rest of the pack. And those are facts. So I need you to realize that there will be bad days. There will be times that you feel like you have no earthly idea what your teacher or professor is talking about. But what you will never ever do is throw a pity party. What you will never ever do is tap out. What you will never ever do is concede and throw in the towel. What you will do is knock on his or her door and say, listen, I only have one option, and that is success in your class. But right now, I'm confused about the lesson you taught today, and I need clarity, and I need it now. I guarantee if you are passionate about wanting to achieve success in that class, he or she will bend over backwards to help you. But if you settle for mediocrity and never say anything, you are setting yourself up to fail and failure, my friend, is not in your DNA. I promise, you're not the first person to question whether or not they have what it takes to achieve at a high level. I promise, you're not the first person to feel like they are underperforming. I promise, you are not the first person to feel like their brain is about to explode. Listen to those that can push through no matter what storms arise are in the small minority, that small percentile of those that ultimately break through and make their goals and dreams a reality. So the reality is this. You were born with everything you need to pass every class with flying colors. You were born with everything you need to overcome the anxiety that may pop up from time to time on a mission to derail your lifelong hopes, dreams, and aspirations. See, my favorite acronym is H-W-P-O. And just in case you forget, or just in case you don't know, that means hard work pays off. So winners like us never lose focus. And we're horrified and petrified whenever someone tries to tell us to take the easy route. Because we already know there is no easy route. Because if it were easy, everyone would do it. So we avoid that ignorance and get back to our grind of studying harder than we've ever studied before because we understand that you get out of it what you put into it. So we pour our heart and soul into our homework. We pour our heart and soul into studying for exams. That way we sleep like a baby because we know in our heart of hearts that we have put every ounce of our being into our work and therefore success is a foregone conclusion. After all of the hard work, after all of the studying, after all of the blood, sweat, and tears, you still fail. I need you to win. And never forget this. You never fail. You never lose. You only learn. See, life will knock the mess out of you when you least expect it. It's part of the process. See, that's when you have to tell yourself, because of this setback, I'm stronger. Because of this setback, I'm wiser. Because of this setback, I'm smarter. And because of this setback, I'm hungrier than ever. So I say all of this as a friendly reminder. God, this. We were born to be spectacular. So I need you to jump over the obstacles. I need you to go around the pitfalls. And I need you to push through the adversity. Because that dormant volcano of success that's living inside of you is just waiting for you to grant permission 
for it. Tui Rhodes.